Hello people of the big bad world, it's Elite Gamer here coming at you with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to get Luigi's Mansion for PC. Like if you're like me and like when you were younger you used to have a GameCube or a PS2 or something and you had Luigi's Mansion and you loved it and disc broke or you lost a console or something like I did. I didn't lose it, I had to give it away. And yeah, so I learnt of a pretty thing called emulators. I'm going to show you how that works in just a second, but first, I'd like to say sorry that I haven't brought out a video in so long. It's my headset messed up and I just managed to buy a new one. And also I've been working on my intro, which is currently rendering. It's taking forever on the 42nd frame and it's been taking 13 hours now. Left it on all last night. So yeah, and let's get into it. First thing that you want to do is go onto the interwebs, and in here you want to go to Emu Paradise. Now I'll have a link to this website itself, and also a link to the download for Luigi's Mansion. I have already downloaded Luigi's Mansion, so I'm not going to download it, but yeah. So once you've downloaded Luigi's Mansion, you just search in here, actually I'll have the link to it, Luigi's Mansion GameCube, yada da da da, and then you go to down here somewhere, it should say emulators, uh, let's see if we can find it, emulator section right here, you click on that, and just wait for my very slow internet to load, oh, maybe not so slow, well Google Chrome is extremely slow, otherwise I'd be using it now. I tried to use it, but it was slow, so go away, add. And see, you scroll down, the best one that there is for the Nintendo GameCube, which is right here. Just click on Nintendo GameCube. Wait for that to load, and it's not responding, of course. Uh, but a bit of it. Okay, I'm going to pause it. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back and I've got it to load. So what you do is you pick your operating system, like if you're Linux or Linux again or Mac, I'm on Windows, so I'll just click that. Hopefully it doesn't mess up again. And I think it has, because it's frozen. <sighs> that was literally like two seconds, because it loaded as soon as I pressed pause, so press play. The best one here would have to be Dolphin. You can pick 64-bit or 32-bit. I don't know what I'm running, 64 or 32, so I'm just going to go with 32, because that works on 64. Mm, if it wants to freaking load. It's happening again. And try to get the latest version, which is 3.5, I think. Back up here, it's 3. 3.5, 3, 3.5, uh, well once you click in there, there's, oh, actually, right here, there's a download link, you just click on that and it'll give you a installer so you can install Dolphin, I've already done that, so, you know, I'm not going to do that, just go away into webs, because no one likes you, and, uh, well, I like it, but it's kind of slow. So now, once you've installed it, going through the installation, I think it might say, do you want to install a toolbar or something? Make sure you press no to all of that stuff that's not to do with Dolphin. So once you get the Dolphin here, you double click on it to open the shortcut, which will open this here. And wherever you save Luigi's Mansion, if you saved it to desktop, anywhere else, I usually, usually if you go if you do what I do, you go to your PC, and you go to Windows, you should go to Program Files, or wherever this would be on a Mac, I don't know, but you go to, it should be here, Dolphin, yeah? You go into Dolphin and make a folder called ROMs, this is where I save mine. You just drag the ROM that you've downloaded into here, like here I've got Luigi's Mansion, Ugh. Luigi's Mansion, I think this is, um, Wario, that would have to be, this one's, no, this one, WarioWare, and then this last one is Super Mario Sunshine, 
I remember playing these as I was like six years old. Yeah, and then what you do to make them pop up like this in here, you press browse, and then you find that folder, like for me, damn it, my voice keeps breaking. You go to this PC, Windows C, yeah, scroll down a bit, go to program files, Dolphin, ROMs, you just click that folder, and if you've put it in there, if there's like three or four in there and you haven't added them to here, it still won't let you open the folder because there's no folders inside of it. You just click on ROMs and press OK and they'll all pop up here. And then whichever one you want to play, you just double click it. I'll put it into window so you can see it. And the full screen resolution should be pretty low because like resolution back then wasn't as good as here and it'll run faster like that. I remember trying to put it onto like where are you? Like HD, 12, 10, yeah, no, not that. 720p, I remember trying to put it on that. That doesn't work. All it does is has giant black bars all around the screen with a tiny little thingy in here. And I'll untick full screen and press close so you can see. And you just open up this and full screen it. And, <coughs> oh. Okay, because it's on record, it's very slow, but otherwise it's pretty good. And when you're in full screen, to get out of the emulation, you just press escape, and it'll pop up with this. Press yes. Now, what you got to do here, in you click configuration, no, not configuration, go to, yeah, GC pad or GameCube pad, whatever you want to call it. You can go up here, you change, okay, something's wrong, it's my remote. Nope, nothing. Up here, you click what you want to change. Like, see, my mouse is the main stick for some reason. But you change what you want these to be. I'm on the gamepad. I've got all my buttons set up because I still have my old GameCube remote and I have a, um, Converter converts that plug from the GameCube to a USB, which you can plug into the computer. It should work. And I don't want to mess this up, so just press cancel. Once you've set up all of your buttons for your keyboard, or if you buy a converter off of eBay or something like I did, the one that I got was GC Controller Adapter for PC USB, is what it says on the thingy. I don't know what's on the packet, I checked that out. But, you know, so you press cancel or OK if you've changed your settings and voila you can also get any other game that you want for the GameCube and all of this is completely legal because all of these games for the GameCube have gone out of production meaning they are actually legal to download so on the internet back in Emu Paradise which finally loaded search for what's another game I remember playing I actually bought this for the Xbox 360 and it's um Crash Bandicoot. Okay, whatever. You just search any game that you want that you used to play or you want to play or anything like that. Download the thing and yeah. And also one other thing, uh, if I can find it, where are you? Yeah. I think it's actually no, it's not. It should be somewhere. I think it's actually in my downloads. I downloaded it. I tried to get The Simpsons Hit and Run, which for some reason doesn't work for me. It might work for you. It might work for you. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Sometimes they'll be downloaded in RAW files like this one. If you load, there you go. And it'll come in like this. You just click here. You have to extract this. And then down here where it's this one. Uh, no, this one, the first one that's dot .raw. You right click that and you have to extract this one here. This has the working game file which doesn't work on my computer for some reason. Go away. Yeah, there we go. And you might need WinRAR for this so I'll have that in the description as well. And also you get the 30 day trial for this and then it says it pops up with evolution copy and it'll just pop up with a pop up every time you get into it. It still works though. It'll just tell you that it's expired. 
And what I'm going to do is actually put it into that raw file. Just drag it over here, files, drag you over here, go to Windows, uh, Program Files, where are you? Dolphin, Dolphin again, no not Dolphin again, ROMs, just plop it on in there. Okay. And sometimes that pops up. It's because it's a raw file in a raw file. So, X out of this. And open up File Explorer again. Oh, here we go. Um, you go to uh, the last bit there, Windows, and then you go into your Program Files. You go to your Dolphin ROMs. Okay, why did I do that? I don't know. Meant to be in Downloads. That was kind of stupid of me. And go down right here where the Simpsons Hit and Run is. You just Double click that. There you go. See, that's what pops up. And you go into hit and run. Drag it across. And you just drag the raw out, not what's in the raw. You will need, yeah. Because it's in the Windows C. Because that's the entire Windows files and stuff. It is because it'll ask for permission. You have to be the admin to do this, which I am. Most of you should be, all of you, hopefully, unless you share accounts. And then you right click this and press extract files. Just, okay. Cancel, no, not help, wrong button, go away. Cancel, and you just right click and go extract here. Uh, why? Oh, I know why. Okay, go away. Because you can't extract there because it doesn't ask for your permission, so get out of this just extract it to your desktop and okay 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 if yours is like mine and doesn't want to extract it which sucks you just gotta double click it and go away and simply drag it to your desktop that usually works or not Whatever, it usually works, but it'll probably work for you. So, this is It's Elite Gamer. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.